guys. Today is the last day that Ray and I are spending time together. He leaves tomorrow morning. I'm excited. We're both and excited. It's sad. Yeah. But it'll fly by. I'm counting on yeah, that. Yeah, I will. Yeah. But we're going out to <laughs> breakfast right now. Um, we're gonna go to this little diner called the Black Bear Diner and they're known to be really, really good. So we're gonna go hang out and just spend the day together. Our favorite meal to spend together. Yeah, breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Perfect way to start the day right here. <laughs> you gonna put creamer in your coffee? Just a little bit more, yeah. Not too bitter, not too sweet. That's good. <laughs> well, that was good. That was good. <laughs> I got... I got what we call... What do they call it? A Joe's Hobo omelet. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of mean. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then you got the volcano. Yeah, it's called a volcano. And he Maybe got some... me, he got me a back scratch. <laughs> you know why? To take over for me, babe. Yep, because when he's gone, and my back's always freaking itching, and he's always there to scratch my back for me. Kind of a hairbrush, too. I feel like, I feel like Ariel. Took my job. Got Am I fired? I gotta fix these bangs. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Am I being laid off? You are. You're temporarily being replaced. Suspended? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Why? What did I do? The claw. It, go ahead, you pull it. It goes long, too. That's good. It breaks it right when I get it. Look how long that thing is. Dang. Demonstrate it for us. No, no that's not how you use it. That's not how. Babe. What? <laughs> oh, yes. Scratch. Scratch. <laughs> oh, scratch. Okay, you do back. Weirdo. We're gonna go to Ross and get him some shower shoes because if you, I don't know if anyone knows this, but in the army or the military in general, when you shower, you're showering right after other people and you don't want to be barefoot on that floor. Cause then you'll so get like athlete's foot or other stuff. So yeah. we're gonna get him some flip flaps. <laughs> and then he's gotta get a couple other things. We're gonna go to Ross right now and then we're gonna go to Target. This is officially my pointer. Wingardium Leviosa. One more stop. One more. <laughs> I'm so tired right now. I know. We're like, after this, let's go home and let's watch Disney movies. Wait, what's going on? I thought we were gonna go to Albert Sands. I know, I'm just looking for a parking spot. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll leave the car. What do you need to get? Uh, just give me a second. Okay. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Leave, leave the car. Okay. You guys wanna see something gross? I'm just kidding, it's not that gross, but. So I got aligners, as you know. Sorry, my hair looks horrible. And I got bite. I put in my new aligners today. Ow. <laughs> okay. Oh, those hurt. Ouch. I put in a new set every week. And this, every Saturday I put in a new set, and this, so I had to um, put in like day 13 today, out of 17. So I'm almost done. I'm almost done with my, with my aligners, but they hurt. It's been a really, really busy day. I'm really glad though, because it's not like Ray and I are doing nothing, and we're just like lounging about and kind of being sad and mopey that he's leaving it's a more positive experience and that's super important i think is like you want to make sure that you're making it a positive experience and not making it so sappy uh, all the time you know like we've had our moments like ray and i believe me 
I've cried so many times in these last couple weeks because it's like the closer you get to that day, the harder it is because it just settles in even more. Like, this is it. Like, this is finally happening, you know, and you never really like it's almost like your brain does not know that this was actually going to happen and then when it does you're still in shock even though you kind of already knew it was going to happen it's really hard to explain but yeah i've i've definitely had a lot of like emotions going through my mind just about everything um we've had conversations with family members and everything and like they are they are going to help us out like his family's going to help out and i'm really really grateful him and i both are so so grateful for his family like so, um, everything in that area is like taken care of, of like where I'm going to live and all that. And, um, what's going to happen with Oakley, Jasper and I, you know, um, but yeah, so tomorrow is officially the day he leaves in the morning. He leaves in the morning at about nine o'clock. We're going to get there, take pictures and everything. And then, um, and then around 10, 10, 15 or so, just depending on how they're doing and on time. Um, he's gonna leave and so that'll be it I'm not gonna film the whole thing at all like it's just gonna be probably like the beginning when we first get there or something I'm not gonna film us saying goodbye I'm not gonna film you know him saying bye to his family or anything like it, it's gonna be purely just in the moment um, I don't want to ruin it by trying to film everything so um, but yeah, so it is hard and like I do get emotional and Ray and I have already cried together um, because we've never been away from each other for more than like two weeks. So this is definitely a challenge, but it's a good challenge. There's nothing bad about what's happening. I know that. It's just, it's, it's purely selfishness in all honesty of just wanting to be with him and him being with me and you know, having him to myself, but uh, I have to remember that he's God's first, not mine, and um, if God called him somewhere, then he needs to go, and uh, luckily, I'm really, really grateful that God's called us both to go together um, when the time is right, but for now, he has to go by himself, so I'm really, really proud of him. Um, I, I, I can't tell you how proud I am of him of just this huge, huge step that he's taking. <sighs> I can't wait until this like whole part uh, that we're about to go through is done and over with and we're finally together. He did not. What? Babe? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I get you some flowers before I leave to <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's been a while. I know. I was trying to look over uh, the ones with the, the blight center, but they didn't have any. I know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I never cry over flowers, but given the situation, of course I'm gonna cry when you give me flowers. I know they would Why you gotta make it harder than it has to be? <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna leave without, like, you know, getting you flowers because it's been a long time. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and I love you. I was just bragging about you. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about perfect timing, huh? conversation after I'm done crying. <laughs> well, I'm done crying. I think for now. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm done crying for now.
For both of us, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I know, on the way home, after I cut the camera off, he's like, why are you crying? He just wanted to know, like, why are you crying? Mm -hmm. I told him, I was like, if they're both happy, but also sad tears at the same time. Because mm -hmm. I'm happy, obviously, because it was super sweet that he got me flowers before he goes. Mm -hmm. And then sad for obvious reasons, because he's going. Yeah. So. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> it was a long day today. It was a long, nice day, actually. It was a long, yeah, nice yeah. day. Not in a bad way. It was, like, no. a long, good day. This is definitely uh, the hard part about the military. I know, like, I, I know this is the only hard part is just when he leaves, you know? <clears throat> but we do 100% believe that God wants this. This is something that we've prayed about for a long time. And uh, we've just allowed God to guide us to wherever he wants us to be. And uh, this is where we are. Yeah. This is definitely where we feel God wants us to be. He guided Ray through the whole process of picking out a job. And if God wanted, you know, God wants him to be a med tech, a med tech, I'm so dumb. If God wants him to be a combat medic, then that that's what God wants. And so be it, you know. Yeah. Um, and I know that he'll be safe and I know he'll be okay. And, you know, God wouldn't. I know, I know that God would not bring you into that to harm you, you know, right. to allow you to be harmed. He has a plan for, for you and I. Mm -hmm. So that's the only, like, thing that's keeping me from panicking that he's in the, com you know, a combat medic. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, when he goes, um, it's just going to be Oakley, Jasper, and I. Um, I am going to be living with his family all the way up until I leave with him. That's the plan. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, we are, you know, we already kind of went over everything, all the finances and all that. And we decided on what we're going to do when we move is, you know, with the cars and everything. And we had decided on all of that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, all the details, as far as we know, are pretty much taken care of. The only thing is that we would have to like, when it comes to picking out a house, when it comes to picking out a home, that's kind of when it, it's closer to him finishing AIT. Um, yeah, so I'm really hoping and praying that we get a nice house. We're going to live off of base. We don't want to live on base. We want to live off base so that Oakley can have his freedom. He can have his, his yard. <laughs> he knows we're talking about him. He can have, have his yard. He can have like just enough space to be a dog, you know? I don't want him to be cooped up in an apartment. Yeah. You know, all the time for f the whole time we're there for four years. Like, that's insane. So, and of course, like, I would love to live somewhere. Oh, please stop knocking the camera. <laughs> you ruin everything. No, he doesn't. I know, I'm kidding. Um, what was I saying? You but, learning. like, I want to live somewhere where we have, like, things to do. Like, there's a lake nearby or there's you know, hiking trails, and there's, um, you know, just nice places that we could, you know, have fun in and, and take him out for walks. You can, you and I can go yeah. for walks together, you know, whenever you have the free time, I know. you know, whenever <laughs> you're not working. Yeah. And I'm sure you'll have a day off here and there, right? Yeah. yeah. It'll be like a normal job where you work from like... Yeah, it just depends. Like, it's all just going to depend on a, um, you know, which unit um attached to like which unit I'm assigned to and it just depends on their their operation tempo and mm -hmm. stuff like that like if it's a really busy unit then you know it's just that's just how it's going to be mm -hmm. um or if it's like a you know like a unit that's not as mm, not as busy like for lack of a better term mm -hmm. then yeah it might be just a little bit more um like a little more set scheduling and stuff like that but yeah I mean, it is military, so anything could happen. A lot of uh, unpredictable things happen all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But so, eventually, I'll be able to, you know, come home. Yeah. 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 What's we'll that wait and see how things go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, so um, we're gonna mm -hmm. just spend the rest of the day together. Um, I'm gonna end it here and continue tomorrow morning. Like I said, I'm not gonna film. 
the whole process of saying bye. I'm not gonna film any of that. Just when we first get there and then probably when he's leaving, like as the truck, the van leaves, um, because they're gonna do like a, a ceremony that they do every time they have new recruits leaving for the first time. Mm -hmm. They have um, veterans on motorcycles escort them out. So biker club. Yeah, the yeah. biker club um, escorts them out, and it's really, really cool. It's very patriotic, and I love it. And, yeah, um, yeah so, but I, I won't be filming, like, the sappy stuff because all of our family is going to be there, and they're going to say their goodbyes, and we're going to pray over them and everything and, and then send them off. We're going to go ahead and relax for the rest of the night and just enjoy each other's company for the little time that we have. <clears throat> Not gonna cry again. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so we'll see you guys in the morning.